In this video, I'm going to take you through a few days of detailing and just kind of show you a few bits of what we're working on and what we're doing, what we're charging, and just so you can see what we have going on. The video is a little bit all over the place just because I can only record what I can record and we get too busy and yada yada. So just bear with me, watch the video. Hopefully, you enjoy it. If you are looking to start your detailing business, click the link down below and download my ultimate guide to starting your detailing business. There's over 10,000 words of pure content in that guide. Sit back, relax, and let's start this video. So today we have technically like four details going on, but one of those isn't a detail. Like this one is, is a vinyl wrap, but I'll still, I'll still just call it a detail to keep it simple. But on this charger, we were hired to, the, the car already came wrapped. This is an insurance claim through a body shop. So we're hired to just rewrap the front and rear bumper. Angel already knocked out the rear bumper. And now obviously we're on the front bumper. He, right now he is putting down the knifeless tape to, for his inlays. He's gonna do about six pieces across the full bumper but aside from that that's literally it. we're not touching anything else um it's faded i we don't know how long it's been on there but you know th there is a there is a bit of a difference in the color from these two because it's not like we knew the exact ma the exact brand they used before we just try to get as close as we could to it and it's also kind of faded and then when he's caught up with film whether it's tin or ppf or vinyl then me and lex will knock out the actual details because obviously he needs help too so right now we're working on this very simple maintenance detail it comes to us like once a month maybe um for a simple interior cleaning like a bit like a mini interior detail and a exterior wash now this vehicle is not corrected not coded he just brings it to us about once a month to get a maintenance detail and then we have an engine detail at 11 and then a interior cleaning at one and the interior cleaning is going to be pretty dirty i think so we'll have our hands full with this one but that's what we have going on for the day and i'll just kind of talk to you throughout the day So there's a difference when we're maintaining a vehicle like this versus one that is corrected and coated just because this paint does have a lot of swirls like when it first came to us it had a lot of swirls there's a lot of not deep scratches but there's areas around the vehicle that have like an increased amount of swirls like like someone took like a, a pad and just like went back and forth so this paint by no means is in like optimal condition so the customer brings it to us i guess because we you know we're professional and just he likes the way we wash the vehicle and such so here we're able to get away with just a rinseless wash um there's a little bit of dust on there so it's not a big deal anyways you could pre-treat it with maybe like a, a rinseless you can maybe even rinse it down but with this one just going straight with a rinseless and then drying it is pretty straightforward you don't want to end up spending so much time on these vehicles just because like that's that's not what they're coming here for right they're, they're not coming here for a a, a swirl free wash because when they brought it here it was already already heavily swirled what this customer is really concerned about every time we turn in the vehicle are the bugs on the front end so we always take extra time to make sure we take off all the bugs because that's what he always looks at Okay, and the maintenance detail just drove off with his vehicle. Lex is, you can't really tell him because it's being uh, the sun out there, but he's turning in the, in the engine detail right now. 
we have Angel still in 104 doing the um, the front bumper wrap and then we have the one o'clock being dropped off here soon so we're all gonna take about like a 35 40 minute break now I would really like to like be able to talk more and, and I kind of get more shots but between trying to just do the, the details that we have on the schedule plus we had someone come in for an estimate on a Porsche plus we get consistently get phone calls and emails and then all the other all the other little bits of just like getting stuff and moving around and it, there's a lot going on so I can't really like just talk as much as I'd like to but we're here documenting hopefully you're enjoying this little bit of a day in the life of detailing and typically Lex brings food or I'll bring food or I'll bring food to cook and I'll cook and typically Angel doesn't bring anything so he usually goes and gets food but uh, right now we're all ordering Chipotle so I'm gonna place the order one of us will go pick it up and then that's what we'll eat for today but I don't know where Lex is at and he's the last person I need for the order and right now we are working on a Corolla doing a full interior cleaning. The seats are pretty bad actually, but the plastics aren't all that bad. As you can tell, it's pretty bad right there. Now, Angel is going to extract all the fabric services. Lex just finished up agitating all the fabric services. And I'm working on the plastics. It's pretty bad, but we should be uh, done with this. Not, it shouldn't take too long to finish this one. And it is now the next day we are working on this smoke odor removal Lex is about to fog up the interior hit it so that is a thermal fog machine we put the product to back attack you let it sit there for a few minutes like 10 minutes to heat up and then you will fog up the interior the difference between a thermal fogger and a spray bottle let's say is that the thermal fogger is able to basically have smaller particles right so if we want to get to if we want tobacco attack to get on every surface of the interior by fogging it up it will literally get into every nook and cranny whereas if you put it in a spray bottle or a, or a, or a pump sprayer the particles are too thick so it, it, it's you're, you're not able to hit every single little area so that is the point of the thermal fogger we want to make sure we're getting to every single little part because the smoke itself the odor is also everywhere so we want to get underneath the seed and all the on all the little nooks and crannies that a spray bottle or a pump sprayer they just it, it can't do that so now we'll let it sit there for like 30 minutes and then we'll open up the doors and start the process of cleaning So this video has been all over the place. It's now the next day and I'm just gonna go ahead and end it right here. We ended up doing this interior deep cleaning on a Honda Odyssey, which this one legitimately was not bad. Like, you know when they say like, if there was one little stain on a seat and he was all, oh, please shampoo the whole interior. We didn't cause it surely did not need that much work. But that's what it came in for. We charged two sick. It, it was initially gonna be like 340, but once we saw it again, we're like, bro, this is like, it's gonna be 260. Like we, we, it was very simple to clean. We finished up the smoke order. They're gonna come pick it up tomorrow. This one was $600. This one is also done, but they're gonna come back. They're gonna come pick it up tomorrow as well. And then we were also working, well, Angel was working on this full ceramic on this Elantra. It was getting ceramic all around, including the front windshield. And this was $800. This one took a little, it's taking quite a bit of time because it had a pre-existing tint on there, including the front windshield. Um, and then we ran into a few other issues, but Angel's being a, uh, Angel's the one that, where's he at? Angel's the main one wrapping everything. So he's the, he's the one doing the uh, all the film and then me and Lex were the ones knocking out the, the detail on that Odyssey. But that's gonna end the video right there. Not the most congruent, showing you every single bit of the day. 
it's just showing you little snippets just because there's a lot going on and that's still just one piece that you're seeing in terms of like the actual detailing again like you're not seeing all the times that like a, a walk-in comes in or Lex does the phone calls before we take break or the times he responds to customers on the phone while we're working or like all these other little things like you just it's hard to capture all of that so anyways let me know what you think in the comment section down below I'll talk to you guys on the next one